So I'm going to ask you to go to your work tables, and I'm going to come to the table that is really sitting most quietly and most ready to do their first smells. When I think about using STEAM or STEM in the classroom, it's really a tool to help the children be become good problem solvers. So you'll see in a preschool classroom a lot of hands-on activities, a lot of um, just sort of brainstorming on their own about how to get from, from place A to place B. And what we do in kindergarten is you try to sort of stretch that a little bit more, give them a few more tools, maybe a few more parameters. Where have you smelled this before? Uh, what does this remind you of? Is this something that you think you might want to eat or drink? Or is this something that is not for eating or for drinking? So they have to start thinking, okay, what category am I putting this thing in? We talked about what's one of the ways your sense of smell can help you be safe? And they would think, okay, if something was burning in your house or if you smelled smoke you know, outside at a neighbor's house, what would you do? You would tell a grown-up, you would go outside. What if you saw something clear? It was in a glass, it looks like maybe you could drink it, but what would your sense of smell do to help you, you know, decide if whether you could drink that or not? So this really leads them to honing observational skills. So when they get to first grade, they're able to use more tools in the science room. That's the year where we let them use um, you know, magnifying glasses and they learn that they need to close one eye to be able to see it. But before learning to use a magnifying glass, you sort of have to think about, oh, I'm just using my sense of sight right now. I'm not going to taste what's on the table because that wouldn't be appropriate. But you sort of have to give them, you know, baby steps, just sort of building blocks to scaffold their learning to sort of get them to the place where we want them to be. You know, I encourage them to try and say that scientists always um, they, they try no matter what, and they, it is not really about our product, it's more about our process. So it's about uh, making a guess, making a prediction, trying it out. If you're correct, that's fine. If you're not correct, boy, guess what, you've learned something. And if you, and you've learned something, good for you. Pat yourselves on the back because your brain has grown a little bit. You've tried something different and you were successful. Fantastic.